Okay, last video on episode two, I promise. Now, the key was found on November 8th, which is a little over a week from the date she was last seen. And here's my issue with the key. Who the hell only keeps their car key and only their car key on their keychain? Where's her house key? Where's her mail key? Where's her business key? We know she had a storefront. They showed a picture of the window earlier. Where are these other keys? I don't know of anybody who only carries a key on their keychain. <laughs> I don't. I don't know anyone that does that. Um, and the key was found in Stephen's bedroom between a pair of slippers that was sitting next to the door to the bedroom and a dresser. In plain sight. Uh, it was found on day four of the investigation. Why didn't anybody see it before then? Why wasn't it spotted there the day of the police first coming to question him about where Teresa Halbach was? And they asked to search his house. I find it interesting that it is found on the fourth day of the investigation next to a dresser that Sergeant Colburn and Lieutenant Link were investigating right before it was found. Why, how did nobody see this as reasonable doubt? Um, and then, and then only Stephen Avery's DNA was found on the key. This is a car that Teresa Hellbach had owned for years. She handled that key multiple times a day, every day for years. There is no way that only Stephen Avery's DNA was found on that key. None. There's no reason for it. Either they scrubbed the key clean and then put Stephen Avery's DNA on the key, or it's not even the key to the car. They just found a generic Toyota key and put it on a lanyard style keychain and rubbed his DNA on it. That's my theory. There you go. Um, then once the key is found and the remains are found, the sheriff states during the press conference, this case only revolves around one victim and that's Teresa Halbach. Why? Why would you say that? Why would you say that if you had not already planned on arresting Stephen Avery and you didn't want anybody looking any deeper? The sh and then, and then, and then they say the sheriff's department, the, the Manitowoc County Sheriff's Department's role was to provide resources as we needed items on the property. Why the word items? Why not the word equipment? That's what he's referring to, you would think. But see, here's something that not a lot of people know. Liars say what they mean. So they needed items on the property not equipment. And the thing about that is, is that that was the sheriff's department's role and it was the two officers involved in the initial 1995 investigation who had already framed Steve once. Interesting. No. Um, at that time, no one could find Stephen Avery, including his attorney. Where's the... How does how how does his attorney not know how to find him? The sheriff's department wasn't telling him which jail he was being kept at. At that same press conference, as the sheriff is leaving, the press is asking what jail is he at? And they say, I don't know. And she goes, you don't know? And Sheriff Pagel looks at her and says, oh, no, we know. We're just not going to tell you. And he was very smug about it, even smirked a little bit at the time that he said it. Tu sabe? I mean, come on, there is so much wrong with this narrative and how nobody else has spotted it, I will never know. We will talk about uh, my observations for episode three in a subsequent video. Thank you for watching.